The cage lid should be removed carefully to avoid excessive disturbance to the animals. The mice should be allowed sufficient time to become aware of your presence. The first mouse to be injected should then be restrained smoothly, without hesitation, by grasping the base of its tail between your forefinger and thumb. The mouse should then be lifted from the floor of the cage onto your arm or onto the cage lid while maintaining a firm grip on the base of its tail. Pulling back gently will cause the mouse to grip the bars of the cage lid with its front paws. Using the forefinger and thumb of your second hand, draw up the loose skin from over the shoulders and hold securely so as to restrict movement of the mouse's head. Then, while maintaining a grip on the scruff and the base of the tail, lift the mouse and turn it over so that its body is supported across the palm of your hand. Transfer the grip on its tail to your third and fourth fingers and palm. Intraperitoneal injection is made into the left or right lower quadrant of the abdomen so as to avoid the liver anteriorly and the bladder in the lower midline. The needle should be angled to penetrate the peritoneum but to minimize the likelihood of penetration of the abdominal organs. The injection is carried out and the needle withdrawn. The mouse is then placed back in its cage and released. Prior to release, it may be identified, for example with a tail mark, to confirm that the injection has been administered. When releasing the mouse, maintain a secure grip until its feet have made contact with the cage floor, then gently release it.